All right, guys, so early in the morning, you know, I just got some breakfast in my system. I'm feeling good. In 30 minutes, we're going to be heading out to Starbucks headquarters. I'm going to be doing a Q&A there in front of their workers about my social media experience, my YouTube experience, and uh, who would ever thought I'd be doing a talk in front of Starbucks corporate workers? That's kind of crazy to think about. It's Judy Time will be there. Her husband, Benji, will be there as well. So I'm excited to meet them. I've heard really great things about them. And uh, yeah, let's head on out. All right, guys, uh, you know, I got a little bit of time right now before the event. It actually starts a little bit later than I was expecting. So I got some time to explain to you guys this Scentbird uh, cologne subscription, $14.95, like I said, and I asked them to send me some fall winter-esque scents. So the first one we got right here, so you're gonna get like a bottle like this and you just twist it and bam. This ain't no like sample that you get from the store, all right? This actually has a full 30 days worth of sprays. So this ain't no rinkity dinky thing. This is a good amount right here. So we got the uh, Eros by Versace. Pretty good, pretty good. Kind of has like this, uh, you know, I was gonna try to use one of those fall words like uh, brisk or like uh, woody, but uh, I can't even, uh, it just smells good, all right? Kind of reminds me of fall, that's all I gotta say. We also got a couple more right here, but pretty much, like I said, if you guys wanna change out a bunch of different scents, you know, throughout the year, I would say this is gonna be your best bet. You can use the promo code right here, and they're gonna hook you up with 30% off, and this is something that I do recommend. I actually personally use it, all right? I know that sounded like a little infomercial, but trust me, I use this stuff. I'm, I'm gonna use the, uh, the Versace. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head on out. For real this time, I'm gonna head out. What up guys, so right now we are taking a little bit of a tour before we do our talk. We are looking at the menu right now and uh, I don't know what this is, but uh, we got the Tanzania Shabakia. Let's just say there's no fraps and no raspberry lemonade, so. Uh... <laughs> Two of ten, what do you want? Anything in the This is a very limited edition. Really limited edition. We yeah. like limited edition. Yeah, we do, we do. We're going to jump into our special guest. Without further ado, let's welcome Richie and Benji. We do a lot of sneaker content, we do a lot of clothing content, uh, lifestyle vlogging and everything. My wife, she is actually the OG YouTuber of my life. One video that went viral, take advantage of that, study that video, why did it go viral? Why did people really gravitate towards that content that you created in that video? Did you do something different? Did you say something different? Did you approach it a little bit differently? So find those pockets of motivation and really take advantage of them. One video has like five comments, one video has five. This one, for some reason, has a hundred. If you have a hundred in that third video, take advantage of that and try to replicate it and keep building and building and building. Hey, Benji. So we just got done with doing the talk. I'm with the homie Benji right now. He was uh, showing me this book he's about to come out with. Yeah. It helps you understand YouTube, build your influence. When you have a book, I feel like you stamped as official, you know? <laughs> All right, you, cool, man. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, um, your you got channel, the audio? Cause I, I, I need to get my sneaker game on point. No, nah, definitely, we'll link it. Got done with the talk at Starbucks and then coincidentally, slide through is right outside. Tan is not working on the truck. What up, what up, what up? What up, what up? What all right, you guys, got unboxing for you. I've been eyeing these for a while when they first dropped, but you know, they are expensive. But recently, there was a little sale on Nike. Bam! Right here are the Zoom Flies. It's a shoe that Off-White did a collaboration on as well. So, I mean, you gotta give us a chance right here, man. For 119 off Nike, try them on for you guys, man. You guys could already see the translucent upper. All right, what else we got in this box? Your boy went a little ham on the leggings right here. I mean, one, two, three, four, five pairs of tights. Okay, so let's see how it goes. But that was my unboxing, you guys. What up, 
it guys, so we just got to the Seattle Night Market, yes, man. There's a lot of people right here. Mm -hmm. We are representing McDonald's. Gonna have a good time. A lot of fans are here. We're yes, gonna take sir. some photos. Huge, huge line for the customization. Station over here, you yeah. can get a nice blank canvas and basically customize uh -huh. anything you want on the shoe. We might have to make some sneakers, so I stay know. tuned. <laughs> you the weasel, right? Yo, I'm man, they call me out. They don't call me, <laughs> careful my first name. They call me the weasel. We're with the homie Harry right here. Big boy Johnny, what's good? So we're with the homie right now, Toby. How far was it for you to get here? It's about an hour, you know. An so hour. hour. And he's rocking the Richie Lee collection. And he got the uh, Yanis on. All right, guys, so we're gonna get out of here really soon. Hey, I gotta give a shout out to Perm Boys right here. Hey, did you guys did you guys get a perm because of us? Yeah. Ah, hey, but they've been waiting all day, man. Shout out to them. Uh, you guys have anybody want to shout out or anything? Shout out Big Boy Johnny. Shout out Big Boy Johnny. Yeah. Yep. You know, I'm getting a little hot in here. I gotta adjust the jacket a little bit. So this is $5,000 worth of stuff in these boxes. I'm probably not gonna be keeping it everything. You know, some things I might consider, but if I don't keep it, I'm gonna be chalking it up to, uh, you know, scientific research. But we got some good stuff in these boxes. Let's get started. All right, so uh, first unboxing. Shout out to Chris for sending over this little cutter right here. You know, he saw that vlog where I said I never had a proper box cutter. So a little bit about these shoes right here. You know, I've always eyed these sneakers. I never pulled the trigger on them. They were 50% off, and then I also had a code for 20% off. So I was like, you know, this might be the right time to at least check them out, you know? So we got the Fear of God boots right here. This is actually the first time that I've held a Fear of God uh, sneaker in my life. I got the bag with the extra laces. Nice Fear of God branding on the uh, paper. All right, so right off the bat, I'm gonna have to go and say the color is not what I was expecting. I was expecting a little bit more of a tannish hue to them. Okay, okay, let's see what we're working with. Bam! These aren't that bad. Oh, <laughs> I thought they left the security code on there. These are kind of interesting, I'm not gonna lie. I don't see myself really keeping these because they are actually a little bit higher than I was expecting. But uh, like I said, I thought the color was gonna be a little bit more like a Timberland boot, but I really like the red contrast with the tan. I kind of like this part right here. It's a little bit translucent. Could these grow on me? I'm not too sure. I mean, 50% off with the 20% off. I don't know, what do you guys say? You guys let me know. I might just have to put these to the side and then you know take a couple more glimpses at them. These are amazing. They're not bad, they're not bad, especially because we got such a crazy deal on them. All right, so that's the first thing we have on the list. So a lot of people been asking if Stone Island is off the grid, and for myself, I actually really like Stone Island still. I know it's not as hype as it used to be, but I really like you know their dye system and their fabrics that they use. So I got this black puffy jacket right here. I'm usually size uh, large in Stone Island because I like it a little bit looser, but for this one, I wanted a more uh, fitted look, you know? So I got my true to size medium. I really like the details actually in person. You got a nice ribbing right here in the zipper area and in the uh, collar, let me try it on. Boom, not bad at all. Has a nice fit that I was looking for. Nice ribbing right here in the uh, cuffs. I might have to keep this. So next item up, we got some more Stone Island. So I got these shorts right here. Kind of like part of their Go series where the patch is a little bit more subtle, not the yellow uh, patch that like they normally do. And I'm feeling them right now. They kind of have more of like a knitted material than I was expecting. And they kind of remind me of like uh, Nike Tech Fleece shorts, but a little bit more formal, I would say. So I was expecting more of like a tech fabric, but this is more more of like a, uh, I can't really describe it, it's just really fluffy. These were not cheap. Black on black. I kind of wanted some casual shorts, but uh, these are going back. I'm not gonna be keeping these. No, we're checking out. So next up, man, you know, I'm a huge fan of different denim. I always really paid attention to denim uh, fabrics and the washes and the distressing and everything. Distressing. You know, I've always paid attention to really the details when it comes to denim. So I'm a huge fan of always checking out different brands and we're not seeing what they're doing. I saw that Saint Laurent dropped a new pair of uh, light distress denim, so I wanted to check them out. And these are it right here. They kind of have like that retro wash to them, actually. So these were $7.90, which is Saint Laurent's, you know, typical price. You know, Saint Laurent is one of those brands a lot of people are paying attention to right now because you see Travis Scott, OG Chase B, they've been rocking these a lot lately with all the hype sneakers. So a lot of people have been buying them resale. But those jeans that they're wearing, those are from like 2015, 2014. They are super hard to come by. Some of those jeans have like thousand dollar resale prices. And these are the newer ones. So I wanted to check out and see if Saint Laurent, you know, is coming out with some new heat. 
I'm gonna have to go and say these aren't it. It's been really hard for Saint Laurent, I think, to mimic that like nice creamish wash that they used to have. It was part of their crash denim years back, years back. So I'm gonna have to go and pass on these. I just wanted to check them out. I'll probably try them on with some different sneakers and whatnot. But uh, yeah, Saint Laurent, you know, I'm waiting for you guys to come out with some more heat. So what do we got next? We got a, uh, okay, we got another uh, Fear of God item. You know, when I was ordering this inside out boxy tee, I was expecting more of like a wash, you know, regular t-shirt material maybe. This damn near looks like a sweatshirt shirt but a t-shirt i'm not gonna lie man you know shout out to models that be modeling for some websites they make this stuff look good but this in person looks like a fancy pillow i mean you guys gotta see how wide this is i gotta give you guys the exclusive on how ridiculous this shirt will probably look hold on i'll be i'll be right back if you guys see how crazy this fear of god boxy tee looks on me i mean look at this thing look at the sleeves they are halfway down my arms this is crazy i can't believe people pay 300 dollars for this it's almost like they originated it and then other brands copied it but made it better and you know like i said before we open up the box a lot of the items i'm probably not going to be keeping and this one right here is for sure i mean it's kind of cool seeing it in person but like this is a no-go. All right, so uh, next item, uh, we got another pair of Fear of God boots. These are actually the same ones as the uh, tan pair that we just showed, but these are, uh, I think they're like a black and tan. Let me see. Bam! This color is actually way better, I'm not gonna lie. So you got a nice, you know, translucent midsole right here with the white bottom, the all black upper. Like I was saying, Fear of God sneakers, I've always been really interested in them. Um, they're handmade, they're made in Italy. I mean, that is one thing you gotta give some of these products is the quality is crazy on them. So here are the other ones. Let me see the, okay, so you got the like silver eyelets right here on this uh, tan pair and then you got black ones. I'm not even quite sure if I'm even gonna keep any of them. I gotta try these on with a uh, different color lace because they did come with some extra laces but these ones right here fear of god new book uh hiking boots i got these for i think a few hundred bucks and uh it's a maybe i might be keeping them that's pretty much it man i think we're gonna be doing a little bit of hooping later thank you guys for checking out this unboxing let's keep it moving